we have got some animals sitting in the shadows, Byron. Not the cat that you're searching for, but another cat that we see plenty of here in the Mara Triangle. It is a small group of lions. Now, it's a pity it's so far away. Again, unfortunately, it's a non-off-roading area. We're heading to the off-roading region soon. But between those two trees, you may be able to see a beautiful big male, and there are two females too. Now, he's a lovely-looking lad. He had a very clean face. He's got quite a large mane. It's nice and dark. So I'm not sure who we're looking at over here. Uh, I also don't know which lionesses this could be, because it's sort of in the Angamas territory. They like to roam around here, but uh, there are so many lions around. I kid you not, you sit here and, and you literally just have to be quiet. And as the night starts to, not the night, as the day starts to fade into night, uh, you can just hear roars from all over the show. And it's quite interesting to see how attentive the lions are. They listen to every roar. Obviously, they don't want to get into an altercation, especially the females. When there's young cubs around, that would not be ideal. Um, just before you came to us, uh, one of the lionesses actually swiped at the male. So I, I wonder if one of them is not perhaps coming into estrus because he was showing quite a bit of interest in her, but she was not interested in him whatsoever. It's so difficult. And of course, from this distance, it's not easy to see any key identifying features like scars or notches and ears, you know, anything like that. And we must be about... 80 to 100 meters away from them. So it's, it's quite a distance, but they've got a good spot here. I don't think they will go far at all. I think it's going to be one of the warmer days that we've had, well, that I've had since I've been in Mara. So I think that they will probably hang around here underneath these lovely shaded trees is a very good spot. And maybe the zebra herds that you can see in the background move a bit closer and make a attempted hunt. Now, Afsal, you're wondering why do all the trees in the Mara have flat tops? Not all of them do. Actually, if you look at look at some of these, I don't even know what half of these trees are here. I've still got to try and figure them out. But there's Matumi. I know. I'm pretty sure this one on the left is a Matumi tree. It looks like the Matumis that we get in South Africa. This one with the long, elongated leaves. So that doesn't have a flat top. So I think it's just particular tree species. There's there's one tree here that reminds me, the bark reminds me of a leadwood, uh, but it's not a leadwood. And it looks like it has little fruits on it. So I don't know what tree it actually is. Uh, I need to find out. Probably have to ask Scott, or maybe James even knows, or maybe Steph. So when I get back to camp, there's many questions that I'm going to be asking today. And 